Tell me a little bit about <coughs> the, the characters that you play in this piece. Well, I play Amber. She's kind of like a, a spunky cheerleader with a whole lot of problems. Like what kind of problems? Like she's kind of like her parents are divorced and she thinks she's like so popular and like kind of a lot of people don't really care that much. She okay. likes to party. <coughs> At all is not good enough. I'm stranded. In the middle of I-95 North, thumbs up, trying to find the highway to a life traveling upon broken streets and dead ends. Speeding over bridges, and yes, there's a light after every tunnel, but honestly, is anyone out there looking for the same thing? I'm waiting for an exit break out, escaping the harsh realities of life, and trust me, I'm never looking back. Um, I play a character called Alexa and Alex, Alex. And Alexa is like the girl part of my character, and Alex is the boy part because I struggle with my gender gender don't issues. Don't worry about like, your um, <laughs> I don't think yeah, you should we're... worry about trying to portray the girl and the boy. Yeah. You yeah, should just portray the like the confidence. the confidence. Think about like times you weren't so confident and sure of yourself, and then build your, and how you built your confidence back up. Okay. Excellent. In my dreams, I picture myself wearing a suit to prom. And the cufflinks held the qualities of manhood closely together in a space where we dance, me and her. These pants ride down the hem of my feminism. I'm fascinated by the straight stitch rolling down my curvy body. But I am narrow. I am straight. I, I don't know what I am. Life has become the most horrible movie that traumatized me from a young age. From a young age I knew. All the things they thought I didn't, and I expected all the signs pointing me in the right direction, but reality made me understand all the incorrect possession of all the grievances that disheartened my brave attempt to evil can evil myself. So damn. All right. <laughs> I play Jasmine. She's like the really, really skinny girl, and like she thinks that she's fat, and she like basically bases her life off of like magazines and what she sees in the media. So like that's the main problem that she's dealing with is her like issues with her body and like her self conscious. Right. The intake of low carb, low calorie is making my body transform into something different and it is becoming a malady, commonly communicable, but it isn't a disease. It isn't a disease. It's a malady and what's the remedy? Plunging this four inch popsicle stick down my aching esophagus, extracting my stomach and forcing it to explode into this toilet bowl. Wiping the excess fat from my lips because one day I'll reach page 10. Skinny, mini, slim, and slender Jasmine. Twisting and twirling in front of the camera. The thing about the characters was um, people, my environment and people around me and the things that I see every day, which is like people just suffering from you know, not being confident or, you know, not being skinny enough, not being good looking, not, you know, having all these qualities that they dream for and that they, you know, some of the things that, you know, that they can work on, but most of the time it's like they never will have. Um, 